Hello, my name is Subtractor. I am by far the most evil criminal in the city of Mythopolis. Let me explain to you what exactly is going on right now. This guy I have hanging in a cage over this lava is named... Mathman. I suppose he is supposed to be the best hero of all time, but I beg to differ. Mathman care to explain why you are up there. What do you mean explain why I'm here? You kidnapped me, and next thing I know I'm stuck up here. Silly Mathman, what he meant to say was, he is here, because I'm a genius, the greatest villain alive. The city of Mythopolis is about to fall apart, and they have me to thank them for it. I don't see why they would be thankful. You know, you are really messing this up for me. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize I should care what you think. I mean I love being stuck over a lava pit of doom. Are you sure you are a superhero? Ha ha. But back to the point, right now I have my most evil plan yet in effect. I know it is a shocker, but her plan is to get rid of me. And it is going to work. You see here is the actual plan. The city of Mythopolis is going to lose a huge building every 10 minutes for the next hour. When I say lose, I mean it will disappear. And she is leaving out the best part. When the last building disappears, this cage that I'm in will fall, yes right into the lava. There you go. I knew you would come around. Can I ask you a legit question? Yes. Will you stop explaining the situation and tell me this math problem? I cannot save the world if I don't know it. I will humor you with the problem because there is no way that even you, math man, could figure it out. Plus you don't even have a calculator on you, ha ha. You do realize. I'm math man. Math is sort of my superpower. Okay, the problem is about a cookie shop. Mr. Blue's cookie shop. Mr. Blue makes three different kinds of cookies, chocolate chip, sugar, and oatmeal. The safety of the city is going to be decided on a cookie problem. Do you want me to drop this cage right now? Now, math man, you are to solve how many cookies Mr. Blue makes in one week. If you can do this, I will let you free. Please go on. <laughs> what was that? Tell me now. How that was the sound of the first building disappearing, only 10 more minutes till the next building goes away. Yay 10 minutes till the next building is gone, which means 50 minutes till this cage is dropped. Alright, like I said earlier you will have to figure out how many cookies Mr. Blue makes in a week, when it comes to chocolate chip, all but two cookies were chocolate chip. Okay, so all but two are chocolate chip, so there must have been a lot of chocolate chip cookies. If that is what you think, think that. But back to the problem, when it comes to sugar cookies, all but two cookies are sugar cookies. What? That doesn't make sense, that would mean most of the cookies are sugar, but I already decided most of them were chocolate chip. Ha 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 poor math man. But to finish the problem. When it comes to oatmeal cookies, all but two cookies were oatmeal. That is all the information that you need to solve the problem. This makes no sense, there cannot be any possible way. Ha huh, good luck. So we right now are being faced with a math problem that is set up in a paragraph form. This can be tricky because it isn't just numbers. There are words that can throw you off, but do not let that get you down. No. I do not like the sound of this. When I first heard this problem, I was really confused. But then I decided to split everything up. Something that kept popping out in my mind was the number two. Stop this now. I demand it. When Subtractor first said all but two cookies were chocolate chip, I assumed most cookies would be chocolate chip. But then she said the same thing about both other types. They have to be equal instead of one having more than the other. No. So he makes equal cookies. All but two. Subtractor, I know the answer to your riddle. No, this can't happen. It is impossible, there is no way. The answer is... 3. If there are only 3 cookies, it explains why you saw all but 2 for every kind of cookie. Because there are only 2 other cookies. I can't believe this, I worked so hard, you messed this up. You will not get out away with this next time. 
you did have me going, you made it sound like it would be a big number, yet that was just to throw me off. Once I finally realized to break down the problem, it made it easy to figure out. Always remember to not give up.